if you already know where it is, it's the art was fair, brought to you by the Park Collective. And you know what we're all about, we're all about life, we're all about fun, we're all about youth, we're all about creativity, we're all about art, we're all about everything, everything possible. And um, usually, you know, it's like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not always here alone, I'm here with somebody special, somebody fun, somebody creative, somebody who is, to me, she's big. But yeah, she's not going to agree, of course, of modesty and whatnot. And uh, she's an artist. She is a designer. She's in the fashion. Like she's 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 all around. Yeah, I'm talking about the other person that Elfrida Fakoya. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Really nice to to be here. I know, right? I mean, it took. Yeah, I don't I even know. want to talk about the journey coming <laughs> here, because just a short story. Yeah, she 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 was supposed to be here like over five hours ago yep. but you know lagos lagos happened the yeah. traffic yeah. and i was i was worried at some point that yo it's been over five hours and she's still not here she yeah. must be exhausted and all of that but here she is with all the energy as usual uh, traffic later <laughs> <laughs> word 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 but so good though so good so um uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself i mean for the people out there so we get to know you some more um, a little bit about myself right so my background is in fashion design I've been doing it for a really long time now um, I went to college for fashion and then uni for fashion as well yeah so five but years circled around fashion yeah usually if I if I realize I'm good at something I'll just like stay there um, but I mean trying to step out of that has kind of led me down the path to where I now. Yeah. So I get to know you and a lot of other artists like in the community. Um, so with fashion design, um, I'm way more interested in wearable art than like ready to wear clothes. Okay. So um, working in the industry can be very grueling, especially when you're not necessarily doing what you love. So while I did appreciate a lot of the experience that I had post uni, I still like found myself in a place where it was like, I, I almost felt like I wanted to say more. And I started to feel like the clothes were restricting what I was trying to say, yeah. right? Um, and so that kind of led me down the path of like experimenting more with my illustrations. And those I used to use, like I still use as prints on the clothes that I design. And then like working from that kind of led to like my general like illustration style. And then like applying material in different fabrics. Usually like I started off with like just a bunch of fabric waste that I had from my graduate collection. Yeah. And then like kept going with those and that has kind of evolved into its own language. And that's uh, so like amazing. Because I I, I, I I check you out on Instagram, I check your fashion page on Instagram and really amazing stuff. And not just that, you work with like a lot of people. You work with quite some famous, you work with Thames. I mean, you you know you know you know small fish. Obviously, <laughs> you work with Wave the Creator. I mean, come on, and just to mention a few, and it's really beautiful, like you doing that. You doing big in the fashion, and and you're enjoying it. Not just you doing it trying to survive and some stuff stuff. I mean, that's part of it. But the fact that you're doing great, that's that's beautiful, man. I see stuff. I see the art in it. That's the thing. That art. I see that art in your fashion, in your designs, and all of that. And it's, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Okay. Now, speaking of art, because I remember the first time I met you, you said you were kind of new in the creative art field or something. And you didn't look like you were new because your works are like amazing. So I'm like wondering if she says she's new, then what is it going to be like if she's like a veteran in this industry? So you feel me? And it's great. Your work is great. You know, the medium you use and all of that. Like, Tell me all about that medium, like how, how do you like put it all together and start work with it? Um, to be honest, like, I just knew that I couldn't be a painter. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> to, Honesty. like start, to, to start there. Like I always wanted to try and adapt like my drawing style into some sort of art that was maybe more along the line of traditional art than like wearable art, yeah. I guess. Um, and fabric is the only thing that I have like extensive experience with like manipulating and like sculpting and playing with and like using to say something. And you're doing right? do that really good. Thank, thank you very much. It's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, with my material, it really is just like kind of 
usually whenever I think about like clothing designs more so I see them like in 3D form okay. right and that's kind of what initially pushed me to to see how far I can push the fabrics that I was using and I found that like um with a lot of my designs I like to use like really heavy cottons and like leather and like drill because they have like that heavy texture but then also because they last so long as well right and they're quite durable so in terms of like working with the material honestly it's really simple fabric is what I need to use but then I have like my preference when it comes to types of fabric and then I've just started to like experiment with how far can I push those like materials now this, this is great I mean you just worked us through your process she's that's like beautiful you just save me the questions <laughs> <laughs> But but speak speak uh, moving on moving on um how do you how how have you tried to balance both the fashion world and the art world I feel personally I may be wrong don't correct me but the way sometimes when I think about it I'm like hmm, maybe it's just so easy for her you know she's like I know it's not we're gonna talk about the challenges later but how do you find a way to balance both and still maintain sanity because yeah we gotta talk about us being adults. Yeah, which is something we never really get to talk about much often, but it's it's just a phenomenon that's there. It's just something, just one aspect of life. And how you get to balance that and still keep up at the same time? I do. I don't <laughs> balance. <laughs> so we, I see you as the kind of person that has your heart the available. You're either working on your illustration and designs or you're working on art at the same time because yeah speaking of arts you were part of the young contemporaries at Rayleigh gallery and how, first off let me just deviate a little bit how was that how was that feel amazing come on you know this i know it but i want to hear from your mouth it was because it, like honestly i've had these ideas right and yeah. i've been experimenting with a lot of different things and i've gotten feedback here and there right but it was very different stepping into a more professional space for traditional art right? yeah, yeah. and everything from like the sessions with Adirine yeah. to like the curate everyone was just like it was it was fantastic for me because in my experience as an artist right most of the work that I was doing you do it on your own right okay. whereas being like on the program it became a very communal thing yeah. like making work and learning from other artists and showing them things as well right and so yeah, the whole experience was great. Like socially, I, like my network of artists is so much bigger, yeah. but I also am exposed to so much more. I know so much more. And, you know, I think that it's really been like a huge validation for me, for some of like, you know, my earlier versions of myself, just kind of worried, like, can I do this and will it work? I mean, it looks like it is already. I mean, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing good. Your pieces are awesome and all that. And which brings me to the to the question, um, the challenges. First off, I know no switching between Nigeria, the UK. Nigeria. I mean, cause I mean, you're, you're based in the UK, most parts of, most part of your state actually. So how, how, how have you been coping with the challenge if you, because um, obviously there's something challenging. So is it, do you ever have, um, times where you need to create pieces of art at the same time? maybe prepare for like a, a fashion show coming up or something like how you how the challenges been what what are the challenges oh my gosh honestly like i'm experiencing the challenges as the days go by like i'm still in the middle of it and because i'm like still really early on in my art journey it's i'm still in the space where like i'm figuring out exactly how i want to merge the two worlds yeah because that is like the end goal. Cause there's a language that runs between both sides that I'm still like figuring out and communicating. Yeah. Um, and so I guess the first challenge is kind of just like deciding how do I want to do this and how do I want to connect the dots, right? Yeah. Um, and then in terms of like logistics and being in one city or the next, honestly, this is in the hands of God. <laughs> yes, I, I, I imagine, I imagine. Yeah. What you go through, that, it, how you're trying to like meet deadlines and oh you know, deadlines. Deadline. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Deadlines are the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> deadlines have, do you know what? Thank God for deadlines because thanks to deadlines, I know that I have a lot of work to do on myself. 
But then also I'm still like learning a lot about my process when it comes to art specifically, right? So I have this thing where I'll tell myself, oh, it's just sewing, right? But that's because if it was an outfit and I stayed up all night, by noon, it would be done, yeah. right? It's not the same when I'm making art. Yeah. It's so much more extensive and I'm learning. So I'm still like making mistakes and fixing them. And yeah. so the deadlines have been appalling, but they've also kind of helped me to stop, right? Because you need to know when to just like pause awesome. and let what you've done exist on its own. And if there's more to add, then that can become its own thing as well. And that's kind of like how I'm balancing it. But then just to answer the question about like how I'm dealing with fashion, oh God, that's just what they don't delete to me. <laughs> <laughs> because I have, honestly, I have skipped out on like three fashion weeks. Uh, yeah, I, I got a notification about one on the way here in the traffic. <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, I count it all joy. I feel like where I am is where I'm meant to be. Yeah. And fashion fashion shows and fashion weeks aren't going anywhere. Yeah, And I have my whole career to, to like merge the two. So... Yeah. I'm kind of just taking it one day at a time. Yeah, that and I, I respect that because you know, speaking of merging two worlds together at the same time, still trying to maintain sanity. A whole lot of people get it all mixed up, and it's easy to get them all mixed up and overwhelmed with the whole feeling and all of that stuff. So, I do understand. I do understand where the angle you're coming from, and I feel if people can just find a way to enjoy the process. Uh, that's the thing. If you learn how to enjoy the process, you don't really see it as anything stressful. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. the beauty of this, of being a creative. Just learning that process and also using what you learn from being in that process to the way you live. You know, your lifestyle and all of that. And people see it in the way you live that this person enjoys or loves what they do. And I see I see your work and that's it's really, really inspiring. I mean, that's one of the reasons you're actually here right now, sharing this with not just me, it's the people out there and all of that. And with all the guys, you know, the guys in the room, of course. <laughs> but I, I mean, thinking of this, you know, one would want to ask how you deal with the exhaustion because you're going to be exhausted. Now you mentioned about staying up all night, working, let's say, by knowing the piece is ready in the stand. And you just like, I mean, the exhaustion because I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. I can't, I, I don't think I can hear that, right? Okay, fine, call me lazy or whatever. Oh, no. Stay up and then just to finish one no, thing. No, like, like, yo, like, I, I know you probably, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe like, I feel it gets to you sometimes, like, oh, yeah. health, how you manage all of that. Oh, yeah. I, yo. Uh, yeah, I, you know what, I, I'm really trying to work hard at my diet, oh. right? Because I just feel like... <laughs> Great, great. Yeah, I'm, 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 right. What I'm learning is, <laughs> if you're taking care of your body, yeah. right, it's only going to help you to navigate all the things that you need to do. Yeah. Right. And with me, I'm no longer just like mostly cutting at a table and sitting at a machine. Yeah. When I'm making work and stretching it on a canvas, you're like getting up, sitting down, stretching and doing things. So you're actually like working a lot, you know, and moving your body and I guess, yeah, exercising, but if you're just imagine like you're going to the gym constantly and you're not like drinking enough water or doing all the other things that yeah, will help, of course, of course. it's kind of like you need to make sure that you're oiling your machine and when that is your body, you need to be very conscious of it. Yeah. And that is one area that I've been failing a lot lately, but I'm, I'm working out. No, it's really bad. I, I, I get burnt out. Yeah, like that, that's an old thing. That's an old thing. Right, and it's like... It's not sustainable. <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty much like, not sustainable. I'd be honest because you now you think about it. Um, I'm an artist, for example, and uh, you hear this say, "Oh, you got a show coming up," and you just like, "Oh yeah, I, I feel if I don't finish this piece tonight, right. I'm gonna lose okay. interest in it, or if I gotta like work on it, I gotta wrap it up and all of that." So why are you thinking about all of that? Mm -hmm. You you're not. They taking care of yourself yeah. and you before you know you just fall ill or you just get so weak and burnt out yeah. like you mentioned and you don't really see it coming you know what i'm saying like you just start wondering or start okay but someone like me who's stubborn i know i'm not feeling too good yeah. but i really want to finish this pain okay. fit i really want to keep working on it i just get up i feel it's probably going to get to a stage where i just move my cane and the lights start painting and no. just go back to bed or something like that but yo 
Like you mentioned the diet, for example, yeah. and yeah, I, I feel in that area like yes. terribly. Really? Like I'm trying. You know, but... you get to that point where you're created and you missed your meal time. Oh, and you're like, way. you're like, oh, of course I skipped breakfast. I'm definitely not going to yeah. skip lunch before you know you're still on your canvas and it's already 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. Then do dinner and you're still working on it. Yeah. And distracting yourself a little bit before you know it's past midnight. So you snack in between. It, exactly. But the whole day is gone and you haven't had a meal. And the back of your mind, you're kind of like, yeah. uh, if I take one or two cookies, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure, right? Nah, but over time, it's just going to tell on you. But yeah. that's the sacrifice uh, as an artist. Mm. And people don't know. People just want to see your work or see your um, the, the, the signs on the runway. Oh my gosh, she's marvelous. She's creative and all that. But... Nobody really cares about the background work. Oh, good. You understand? Nobody really cares about the background work, like what the sleepless nights. No, there's this meme where it's dark yeah. and it's 3 a.m., but you see a small light from a window and it's an artist. Oh, my God. It's working. Know. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, exactly. So that thing, that, 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 that part is what many people don't really see. And I feel it's what um, some young artists don't really understand. It's not like we're doing it because is work right. we're doing it because we enjoy it yeah. i mean if we didn't enjoy it we'll probably be sleeping i don't think it's i don't hard. think i don't think there's there are many nine to fives out there we're gonna right. stay up at 2 a.m trying to work on something no yeah. so i mean not taking shots at them but you get the point y'all are the lucky ones <laughs> <For sure. laughs> that's the thing i mean y'all are really right. lucky it's think hard. about it man sure but it's it's beautiful you know you know arts in general is beautiful and i do admire what, what it is you do. I will keep saying this. I don't care how many yeah, times you hear it. Yeah, yeah, so you speaking of speaking of admiration, um, I'm pretty sure you have people who inspire you in both in the fashion industry and maybe in the arts, um, the creative art industry. So like, we you, you want to like measure a few? Oh my. I feel like this is a question I thought I should have thought about before because <laughs> I know it's one of those things where you, obviously you know the people that you like and yeah. that inspire you, but then someone asks you and you're so confused. Yeah. Um, do you know what? In fashion right now, I will say Kid Super. Oh, I've never right? heard of them. I probably don't like research. No, no, sh trust me. I feel like some of it will probably intrigue you just like on a creative level. And I, I open with him because what I'm learning about my journey is I haven't seen many examples of people who are balancing fashion and art, right? And actually keeping both sides together yeah. as their own like one creative language. And he's really doing a very interesting job of that um, at the moment. So it's very kind of just cool to like learn from him and and I guess like watch and, and learn, I guess. Um, but then other people in the fashion industry, RFP Virgil Abloh. Well, always, man. Always. The poor one for the homie. Right, right. No, for real. Um, and then I have a lot of other fashion designers who are kind of just like surrounded by me and in my life. I, I look up to a lot of people who I know them by knowing their process and by like mm. being around them, you know, so that is cool. Um, wow, where are the answers? <laughs> like it's crazy. I, I knew that they were just like flying. Like it's just like, everywhere, of course, yeah. just everywhere. We, can we can we come back to this? Can I like give you like four four strong names like when we're clueless? <laughs> <laughs> you just go like boom boom boom. Yeah, right. But I am constantly like doing research as well. So why I'm yeah. like thinking much of anyone right now? But then just in terms of just like um, just some artists like traditional artists that I I find very interesting. Do you know what? More recently, I started looking at a lot of Bruce Onwepe's work. Yeah, like he, he's the goat. She's one of the goat. Like I I think it's interesting what he does what texture comes from like the materials and like the way he finishes now you see you see what just happened me you measured me mentioned his name thunder yeah come on hey, that's, that's what that's what you got a legend, oh. <laughs> a legend. Oh, do not cut that from the recording do not edit that try like put that in if you can for real, for real. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's beautiful you know and well i'm paying respect to these people because come on we just, we just gotta give them flowers. Yeah, we would be nowhere without them. Even just That's like right. African artists on the globe. I'm I'm pretty sure you inspire um, a couple people. I mean, they're not gonna come up yet because <laughs> yeah, people are shy and they don't want to get um, turned turned away by their idols or their icons. 
it's always quite understandable. I mean, I go places and people will like, oh my God, I spy by what I like. Do I know you? And they're like, oh no, you don't know me. Ah, great. And, and it's beautiful, you know, the fact that you were inspired by people and you're also inspiring people. That's one of the things that this um, platform is for to just inspire people and the arts and letting everybody know that whether you paint or you don't know how to paint or you don't know how to make art, you are still an artist. You're still a creative person. You can think of something and you can do something with your mind. That's how far your mind can push you to. And that's one of the reasons that we have this platform. And I think that's why we encourage people. So this is, this is an ad, yes, take it. So we encourage people to listen, to watch, support, you No, know, recommend us to your friends. Sure, I know we're still in the early stage yet. We're still uh, putting two and two together about podcasts. It's a podcast. You hear my voice, you hear my guest voice. And that's, that's, that's just beautiful. Yeah, and I think you're being fairly humble there. I mean, fair enough, you're starting off, but you're doing really well. Oh, so I dedicated this award to my fans out there, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. followers of the pod. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so uh, yeah, let's get, let's get to um, other stuff. So when you are not working, mm. when you're not working, what do you do for fun? I mean, I've been in the club with you before. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You remember that? That was a thing. <laughs> that was that. Wow, that was that was a great time. It definitely was. When I go back to this, I told everybody. Yo, that party that club. That that part. The party was in the Yeah, yeah. yeah was. That party was. Oh my god. I, I I I stopped drinking like uh, two years before that, but I had to at that party. I was so turned up. And then the next morning, we were coming back to Lagos. I was just in the bus, and my eyes were red, like. No, it was it was the effects of a good time. Yeah. It was great. It was so so yeah. What what are you doing? You're not working. Um. Oh God. Okay. This is kind of ridiculous, and I'm not trying to sound like a workaholic, but a lot of the times when I'm not working, I'm like helping my friends, <laughs> like with their work, and like Loki, that's still working. <laughs> but it's fun for me because my career is not on the line. <laughs> uh, right. I mean, I mean, you know, and I get to like try new things. So I do that. Um. In London, I'm part of this collective. It's called ABOE. It stands for a bit of everything. Shout out to my brother. ABOE, a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to What up, what up? All of our people love you guys. <laughs> um, and whenever, like, usually when I'm not working, we put on, like, events. Um, uh, what are these things called? Workshops. Workshop, yeah. Shows and stuff. Like, um, we're really into live music. Well, I'm really into live music as well. And do, do you feel anything? Do I play anything do you play an instrument i uh, know no i sang in 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 secondary school oh second okay is this no, 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 you like added secondary that, school you, yeah you it's added that in the <laughs> there they go okay <laughs> i was about to say oh you sing mm -hmm, <laughs> <laughs> all right i think that's cool oh speaking of it, before i forget i'm so sorry i forgot uh before we recorded it yesterday that's a day before whenever you see this um, you hear the, or watch this episode. It was a birthday a day before today. So we, oh yes, you. Happy birthday once again. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. from all of us here to uh, you, happy birthday. And uh, you're probably gonna tell us about the birthday party <laughs> later. If there was any, <laughs> you know, there really wasn't, but there was a uh, there was a birthday something. It was great. All right, so I want to ask this question up. If you were not in the arts at all, what would you be doing? Sometimes I think I'd be a midwife. I yeah. never, I will have a thousand guesses and that would not even be in it. Because you mean like creative, right? You don't mean like if I wasn't in the fashion and art. Yeah. Like no, if, if you were like, not in the creative field. So like new music, A&R, none of that. Anyway. Yeah. If, if it wasn't, if it was none of that, then that, well, the only reason I think I'd maybe be a midwife is because I'm very intrigued by like the concept of like, being an assistant to like bringing life into the world right but i i also have never seen anyone give birth to a child so there's a definite chance like i'll do an internship and then they would just never see me <laughs> <laughs> like right after, after, after the last day be like all right it's peace. Good. <laughs> like this was great <laughs> happy for your baby <laughs> um so sometimes i think like maybe i'd be a midwife i don't know um but then if i didn't do that uh Something along the lines of maybe just like nature, yeah, uh, yeah like m more recently anyway, uh, like maybe a florist. I I'm I'm more I'm started getting 
very intrigued by like plants and you know like we, we do the, have we do have some we do have some like all, yeah all the silent things that are like growing and living and having yeah. a life like around us yeah. um i've really started d delving deeper into those spaces um to just like help inform myself and my work and so i, I figure like now as i'm evolving as a person maybe if i wasn't in any creative field i'd i'd do something along those lines Dude, this this all is so weird that's that's just as like I said before, I would have like a thousand guests that say, no, I would not have guessed that. And it's yeah. beautiful. No, it's beautiful. For me, I feel life is beautiful. Right. So helping to bring life to the world, there will be something more of an adventure. Right. I mean, I don't, it's, it's I don't have really, it's, 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 it's not free. It's not cute. But after. Uh, uh, it's, it still sounds good. I mean, it still sounds cool. <laughs> Maybe in an alternate universe. Right. Right. Well, oh, no, entirely. Like, I can't, <laughs> I also can't really do hospitals. Uh, yeah. You know, ah, how can you study? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's an it's idea. No way. It's an idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, how's the arts community over there in the UK for the, some people who don't really have an idea? Like, yeah. how's the art community? Like, you said you have a, like a, a, a group, you have a community. So, like, how is it over there? It's, it's interesting because being here, right, you kind of get to see the pros and cons of, yeah, of like existing in the spaces that you exist mm -hmm. and like how that affects everything and everyone. Um, and so I'd say like in the UK, it's interesting because it's quite nuanced. I mean, it's um, it's not a new industry, yeah. right? And we don't have this thing that we have in Africa where it's like most people haven't actually heard your story before, yeah. right? And and when you're a black artist outside anywhere really um a lot of people tend to cage you inside of that right yeah. so if they've seen work by like one queer black artist it's almost like oh yeah this one queer black artist is speaking for all the queer black artists <laughs> you know it's kind of that idea of just like what i find is you have to be very intentional about your story yeah right and that's just because and, and and it works both ways right it's not only just that like sometimes it can have a negative impact but also there's a an overwhelming amount of brilliant artists, you know, and yeah, everyone will have their own stage, but most yeah. of us kind of want the same things. So the competition is really high, but I think that it, that kind of pushes you to be the best that you can and yeah. be as creative as you can be, right? Yeah, of course. Um, but it's also like, as far as like in my experience, there's just this huge sense of community as well that I really appreciate, you know. If you're looking for like a studio or like a space or you're just trying to make something happen right there's loads of people around like the spaces that i like exist in anyway that are always just like happy to help yeah. you know and and it's it's really like encouraging yeah that that's one of the things we're trying to do with this platform too and uh oh yeah this is still another idea of course so that's one of the things we're trying to do with this platform you know bring the art closer to those who will have it in them but they're just looking for a platform to explore and to be creative and not be restricted or feel left out the whole process and you know and get to enjoy art the way art's supposed to be enjoyed and that's the pretty part of all this that's why we're doing this i mean apart from the fact that we're having so much fun it's, it's still one thing that we're doing we're trying to bring art closer to the community to the culture trying to be who we are and experience press ourselves and let people see our message and what we're trying to tell them and um it's great it's great so like we, we, we've been talking for a while we've we've experienced a lot we've we've talked about a lot of stuff and uh not just waste any more of your time i mean i'm going to really regard as wasting time but it's fun anyway so like before you leave you got any final words to tell us no people listening people encouraged you got anything to tell them uh Take care of yourself. Yeah, that part. Because <laughs> you need that. I should take notes for that you're part. Even, <laughs> you're going to get older and it will show up. Um, take care of yourself and try to be true to your own story. You know, whatever that is, your own truth. Good luck. Pay attention. Learn. Yeah. Don't listen to everyone. Yeah, pretty much. Be selective about what you hear from people. Be very selective. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Leave it to some people. Leave it to some people, but <laughs> not <laughs> everybody. <laughs> To be selective, of yeah. course. I mean, just yeah, make sure you're connected with your own like inner voice, it's exactly. Because like, yeah. that's that's where the real artist yeah. is. What you got inside of you is where the real artist is. So, this has been beautiful. Thank you so much. You. Uh, you have no idea how grateful we all are that you're here and oh, we God. were able to do this. I mean, this has been great. The traffic tried to ruin stuff, but I come on. We're grateful for everything. We're grateful to the universe for everything. Yeah. So that's it, folks. It's been great with Elfrida. And you already know where it is. It's the podcast or the punk collective. The Archimedes from I take that back. Yeah, this would be so much fun. I forgot the intro. And uh, you, know what you know what it is. We just want you guys to get inspired by everything we do here. You know, never talk down to yourself. You're an artist. You're a creative. You can create magic with your mind. Listen to that again. You can create magic with your mind. You can probably just write this somewhere. I know, I know. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a scholar. I'm good. I get it. So the fact is, do you take advice, learn, don't give up. I mean, you're the best version of yourself and you keep getting better. So never believe that you cannot do it. That's what this platform is all about. So from us here to you over there, it's been fun. And we'll hope to see you all next time. Peace.